Hey guys, it's October 2020. It's peeing the rain outside, so what better time to descale your espresso machine? Uh, so, hello to my 19 subscribers. Hopefully they'll get like 20 or even 30 by the end of the year. Um, I'm optimistic, but you know, hey ho. Maybe these videos will get the coffee geeks going, you know. We'll see, we'll see. I'm not a coffee geek, but I like my coffee. And I think I do well at preserving this 2006 Gadget Classic. Okay, done me well. I uh, descaler probably, well, I say once a month probably once in two months. But then again, I do use sort of bottled water all the time. Just not uh, using regular tap water is probably the key. Um, I normally descale as a guide uh, with my kettle. And once I see this has started furring up, I know it's a good idea to descale the machine. Even though, like I said, I use bottled water. Okay, so like I said, this is a 2006 Gadget Classic. It's got the, uh, the three-way solenoid valve. Not that that makes much difference to the descaling process. It's, uh, you just have to be aware of other cleaning processes which you can or cannot do. For example, you can't back flush a machine without a solenoid valve. What's back flushing? Have a look on the internet. It's basically, like it says, back flush. Instead of your, your coffee going through a filter, you put a solid one there, and to the coffee, you put some cleaner in it, whack it in, turn it on, so it goes through back to the machine, out the pipe there, back flush in the system. Okay, but I'm not going to get onto that in this video. Today, this is solely on descaling. Okay? Okay, so the products I should be using for descaling and other cleaning duties today uh, are both supplied by Puli. Um, I bought these myself, they're not you know, supplied to me, but I'm just saying these ones I've got read reviews on, I've heard they're good, and they work for me. Okay, but they're made by Puli. You've got the cleaner on this side, which is basically your scaler. Okay, it comes in sachets, and this is the, the powder, which is the cleaner, which you can soak stuff in, or you can back flush the machine with, okay? And that's one massive tub, okay? Okay, so I've externally cleaned all the machine, okay? I've, I've taken out the drip tray, cleaned it all out. And I've taken out the water container, that's all clean. And I've just given these pipes a little clean too, even though that was a bit dirty actually. Let's give those another bit of a clean coat on. A bit pipey. Okay, so although this is not 100% necessary, what I like to do is to flip the machine up like so and just take out the screen so I can soak that as well to make sure it's all clean. Okay, so using my trust little tool, uh, the screen is just held in by a little Phillips screw. So it can be quite tricky. I'm using my, this, this tool because a regular screw does just not always fit in, okay? So out with the screw. You can see there's a bit of a build up on there. And then with the screen, okay? It's not too bad if you can see through it. But I can also see bits of powderiness there. So I'll give these two a soak. I'm going to give this a little area a clean uh, with a sponge, etc. And it's, it's worthwhile checking um, your, what's it called, group head gasket or rubber seal. Basically, there's a rubber seal in there, which so often gets forgotten about. It goes hard, and then it's, it's, it doesn't make such a good seal um, with your gasket. Okay? But they're very cheap, you can buy them on eBay, they're like, I'm not, I'm not 
to cut the quid like that. So they just they just come out and then just pop new one in. I can't remember now. I think you might have to remove this bit first before pinning. I can't remember. I did it about a year ago. It's probably due a new one. Okay, maybe that'll be a later bit. So I'm gonna give this a little bit of a clean and uh, pop the machine back up again. Okay, cool. So the screen is out. I've wiped the machine down underneath, a bit cleaner, okay. It's time to do scale. Okay, so what do we need? We've got, got the pulley, instruction on the back say, uh, one packet to one litre of water. So here's my litre of water. And it's basically just dissolved in here. Ooh, some lovely bits there. I'm going to give that a stir, don't I? A spoon. Okay. Until it's dissolved. I might speed this bit up. Oh no, it's nearly almost there. Yep. There you go. It's got all gone clear, it's all dissolved. Okay. Let's put it in the sink. Right, so you're going to pour this solution into the reservoir of your machine. There she goes. I'm going to shake the bottom, make sure there's no bits in there. Okay, cool. So, water's in there. Now, what we need to do, plugged in, I'm just going to turn the machine on and straight away, actually, that Straight away, I'm going to start pumping some water through, just so the water, the descaler gets taken into the tank, into the boiler, and then uh, starts coming out. Uh, the water coming out in, uh, instantaneously will probably be water that's in there already, okay? Even though I've had it on his side, it's a contained unit. Okay, so here we go. On. Here we go. Coming through. So count to about five, count to five, <laughs> both off, okay? So the scaler's come through, okay? And there's now the scaler in the boiler doing its thing, okay? And the way I do it is I leave it off. I've, the, I think that's the way I learned to do it. So basically it's a nice cold descaler in there doing its thing, okay? So now what you gotta do is uh, wait for that to do its thing, okay? What I'm also gonna do though is, I'm just gonna unscrew the end here. This has got a Rancilio wand on it, um, for one of the Rancilio machines. Uh, it's, the A is better fluffing and love to say art, not that I'm very good at it, in my opinion, okay? Originally it came with, uh, I don't know, I can't remember it now, a big plastic thing, which you could, I guess, I think you could take it half off and then you can soak that. Because what I'm doing now is while that's doing its thing, I'm going to get some of the, the pulley calf and I'm gonna put some in a little jar. It's probably too much. But it doesn't matter, I'm gonna dissolve, I'm gonna put some tap water in there. Put in the screen we took out, a little screw, a little tube from there. My foot baskets, you know, they are pretty clean. Just put them in. And this, uh, let that soak whilst we do. Oh, and the end of the nozzle has actually got a little bit of. You see, this is good stuff. It has actually uh, dissolved a lot of stuff. There you go. Let's stick a bit on there, a bit of residue. So that pops in there and put that one side. Okay. Also, what I like doing is with the with the descaler which will come out of the machine, I like to pop in the kettle. Because you know it still got it still works. It's also a good sign once you notice that all this, the scale has gone in the kettle. Um, which is definitely really going to be worse inside this because I've used tap water. Once I see that that scale is gone, I 
be dissolved, you're guaranteed that this inside of this machine is going to be squeaky clean. Okay, so put that back in the corner. There you go. So after about 10 minutes of uh, the discolor being inside the boiler, we're going to go through the same process again. Okay, so one over there. Okay, and this time I'm going to draw some water through the wand. Okay, because we want some scale in there too, just so we make sure it's gone through all the points of the machine. Okay, so the same process again. Whichever machine you have, basically you turn it on to pump. In this case, it's like so. Open up the wand. There you go. So we've got water coming through there as well. Okay. Now, let it close more. Right. Just so, just so you know that the, the water in the boiler has been refreshed with, with new discolor. Okay. And off again. All right. And again, I'm going to wait another, say, five, ten minutes or so. Wait for the discolor to do its thing. Okay. And basically, continue this process until all or nearly all the water has been used up from your reservoir. Okay, that's also in your pond now actually already. Um, so there, so there you go. Don't let it run dry, that's not a good idea on the borders, okay? So if you see it coming up to the end, stop, and that's what we're gonna see. See you guys next, okay? Into the kettle. Okay, so I actually left that about 20 minutes actually, because uh, I was just talking about my little lad. But it doesn't matter though, you can leave it as, as uh, you know, up to that sort of period because it's not going to do any harm to your machine. You know, there is generally these are made of stainless steel, so no harm will come to the machine by leaving it in a little bit longer. Okay. So I'm just gonna do it one more time. Slightly sound that would mean to me that the water is getting low, the scale is getting low. So I don't want to take it out any further. Okay. So what I want to do now is I'm going to put all this in there, and then I'm going to take this water measure out. Um, I'm going to clean all this up and, and uh, drain all the water, sorry, the, the cleaner from the little bits. And then I'll come back to you in one moment, okay? Okay, cool. So I've washed this out, soaked water. All of these bits have come out of the soaking solution. Lovely and clean, you can see, really good. Including the baskets, but they don't need to be seen. Um, so what we do now is put this back together. Put this screen back in. It's a bit fiddly, but you know, same way you took it out, it goes in there, screw in. Like I said before, you don't really need to. If you do it regular enough, there shouldn't be much build up behind here. But I think I've been a bit slack recently, I might have left it a couple of months, especially by the state of my kettle. So I'm lifting this up, that's it, that's back in, that's cool. A pop. In here. I've already cleaned these pipes again, just so they do scale on them. Put that back in there, and we have the tube which is there. In you go. And then, okay, so now we're ready to pop some water inside. That fizz, but it's not fizzy, don't know why. It's crazy, isn't it? So I just use cheap bottled water. And I don't seem to have any problems with yeah. There you go. This has all been clean, so I'm not worried about the things again. So what I'm going to do is... Ooh, it's like it's exactly two litres, that. Okay. But I'm going to just run some through the machine again. Okay. Just to make sure we're getting all of that 
all of that to get it out. There will be some in there still, so I'm just going to a bit of a, a bit messy here. Let's see if we go once again. Here we go. There. Push it on a few a bit. I'm all about it. Pick the ones. Oops. There we go. So fresh water's going through now. I need some water from a coffee. There we go. Also, I'm just going to pop this back on the end of there. Okay. Then we're going to wipe down. Put it back in there. And that basically is your machine clean.